Here we are in Vincenzo's garden, and I just wanted to do a quick tomato video here uh, regarding these West Virginia number 23s from the University of West Virginia Agricultural uh, Program. They were kind enough to send some seeds, so I devoted a, uh, a spot on my table here for uh, 12 of them, and I wanted to note... Uh, number one is they are container friendly. I will say that it's a nice, it's a nice uh, round, disease resistant uh, fruit that uh, is larger than a fireball, uh, probably a little smaller than a beefsteak. But they seem to be doing well. They are productive. Uh, this one happens to have two on them, and you can see by the size of my hand on this one the size of the tomato and these were put in late so they still got a way to go yet and uh, while I'm doing the video I wanted to point out on this particular tomato plant that has two of them when you hear people refer to suckers on the tomato plant this one right here it has a sucker that I'm gonna pull just clip off right now between the two main stems uh, if you can see that, let me see if I can get that in the video. There we go. Right there, there's the there's the sucker right there. We're going to take him off of there right now. Just using my thumbnail to take him off. You can see the little stub now. That would be considered the sucker. So all in all, these have done uh, relatively well, even with the drought. They are container friendly. They're supposed to be disease resistant. And I see no disease on any of these. So that's a, a good thing. I haven't saw any of the blossom rot where they turn black on the bottom. Uh, I am giving these a, uh, like maybe every two, three weeks here. Because they've been in here since uh, uh, the end of May, which is zone 6A. Uh, that's when we usually plant things. And uh, they've done real well for me. So I give them a, uh, I give them a A. Uh, for productivity, I give them an A for being container friendly because these aren't even my big uh, number five pots. Uh, these are like number three pots, maybe a one gallon. And they still are productive. They do bear multiple fruit. And uh, so I'm quite pleased with them. All right, that's it for now. Remember to be safe out there. Kind to of your neighbor. We'll see you.